Hi everyone, I am going to show how to solve 4 to the power x plus 6 to the power x is equal to 9 to the power x. Or if we divided both sides by 4 to the power x, we will get 4 to the power x over 4 to the power x plus 6 to the power x over 4 to the power x is equal to 9 to the power x over 4 to the power x or 4 to the power x 4 to the power x cancel out so it remains 1 plus this can be written as 6 over 4 whole to the power x is equal to this can be 9 over 4 whole to the power x or 1 plus simplifying this it can be written as 3 over 2 whole to the power x is equal to 9 is equal to 3 square over 4 is equal to 2 a square whole to the power x or 1 plus 3 over 2 whole to the power x is equal to it can be written 3 over 2 whole a square whole to the power x or 1 plus 3 over 2 whole to the power x is equal to 3 over 2 whole to the power x whole square according to this law a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power n whole to the power m we can write this term as this now let's consider 3 over 2 to the power x is equal to m so we can write 1 plus this as m so m and this as m whole square so m square where m is equal to 3 over 2 whole to the power x or taking this on plus m to right side and writing right side to left we will get m square minus m minus 1 is equal to 0 this is a quadratic equation a x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 the solution of the quadratic equation x is equal to negative b plus or minus b square minus 4 c a square root over twice a so this is the formula of quadratic equation comparing this formula to our equation we will have a is equal to coefficient of m square is equal to 1 and b is equal to coefficient of m is equal to negative 1 and c is equal to and constant term is negative 1 so putting this value to formula we will get m is equal to 
negative b means negative of negative on plus or minus of b square means negative 1 whole square minus 4 times c means negative 1 times a means 1 square root over 2 times a is equal to 1. or m is equal to negative negative will be positive so it will be positive 1 plus or minus negative 1 whole square is equal to positive 1 negative 4 times negative 1 is equal to positive 4 times 1 is equal to positive 4 square root over 2 times 1 is equal to 2 So m is equal to 1 plus or minus 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. So square root over 5 over 2 or putting the value of m as 3 over 2 whole to the power x is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2 or for positive we can write 3 over 2 to the power x is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and for negative we can write 3 over 2 whole to the power x is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. But 3 over 2 is a positive number and power of a positive number is always positive and square root of 5 is greater than 1 so 1 minus square root of 5 is negative so right side is negative and left side is positive so it can never be equal so there is no solution from this equation so we have only this equation so taking log both side we will have log 3 over 2 whole to the power x is equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Or according to formula of log, we can write x log 3 over 2 is equal to log square root of 5 plus 1 over 2 so we can write x is equal to log square root of 5 plus 1 over 2 divided by this term log 3 over 2 so if we calculate this value we will get approximate 1.1868 so this is the solution of this given equation if you like this video please subscribe my channel thanks for watching